Happy Thursday! Happy Thursday! I've got a red glow because there's a car in front. <laughs> I look tanned. You're glowing. Are you <laughs> pregnant? <laughs> um, I'm off to a gig. I'm yeah. off to do my gig. Uh, you may or may not know, I am in a band. So, yeah, that's what I do. I'm not. I play drums. I don't. And here's all my drum stuff behind. Yay, so my car is full of crap. Yay. Yay. And I'll be in here for weeks. Yay. Yay. Because he never removes so it. So we're playing in Reading, which is like the nearest decent place to, for live music. Is it decent? It's, it's half decent. <laughs> is it? It is decent. Uh, I'm playing a nightclub called Sakura. Um, headlining, yeah. Play like rock music, so if you're into rock music, headlining. go check out the link below. Headlining. Yeah, I am headlining. <laughs> Make it sound like Don't this. spoil my dream, okay? <laughs> headlining of three rubbish bands. They're not rubbish either. They're not. This one doesn't like music. She used to when oh, I first I met her. When I, when I first met her, there's a story of how we. This is what the title's gonna be. The story how we met. Oh lord. I like nearly broke her face. Foot. She came to one of my gigs when we were about what, 17? I was 16. You, you were 17. 16. I was 17. Uh, in 2008. And yeah, you, she came to a gig and. She was in the mosh pit because she was I wasn't cold. in the mosh pit. She was in the mosh pit. I was around the edge of the crowd. Yeah, and I jumped in. To um, mosh because he's cool. Yeah, because I'm like I that. don't mosh. I stood on the side. <laughs> Hashtag I don't mosh. Hashtag <laughs> I don't mosh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the title of the video. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then you came and started talking to me on MSN. And well, no, because what happened was he was too busy paying attention to the crowd. He took a few steps backwards, stood on my foot and elbowed me in the face <laughs> and nearly broke my foot and face. So I then messaged the band on MySpace because MySpace was cool then and was like, hey, my face. Your, your, your stupid vocalist stood on my foot and then he apologised and then we started talking on MSN Messenger. And then it all came from then. Aww. And I went, that's the same year, I went to Florida with you. No, it wasn't. It was, 2008. We it met was. in 2007. No, but when we started going out. Yeah, but that I went to that Florida the same in, year. But that story you just told happened in 2007. Did it? Yes. Oh, okay. Because so, I came to the face bar in 2008, in 2007, just before Christmas. So I've known you for 10 years. When it gets to, like, November, then yeah. yes. <laughs> As you know, I've just dropped Aaron off at his gig, as we just mentioned, and I have just seen that a teaser trailer has dropped for Coco, the new Disney Pixar film. So I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna go watch it, and I'm gonna tell you what I think, and then oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I do love it when a new trailer drops for Disney. Um, so yeah, so I've just watched the Coco trailer, as I said. Um, I'm not really sure yet, because I don't, I haven't read anything about it, I try, I'm not one, Aaron loves watching every hype video, everything he can, um, and reads everything he can about every film that he's like really interested in, and I'm the complete opposite, so I'll watch the trailers as they drop, but I won't look into it too much or anything, so I don't really know anything about Coco, all I know is that it's about, um, So I don't really know anything about Coco, um, but it looked really good. It looked really pretty and beautiful, just like Pixar always do. Um, the dog was really cute. Um, I don't really know what to say about it actually, because I, I don't, I don't quite understand what it's about. Is that kid like dead? I, d I don't understand. Um, maybe I need to read up on it, but then I don't like to spoil things. I like to keep everything a bit of a surprise. So who knows? Either way, it looked really good. I'm excited for a new Pixar film, of course, because who wouldn't be? Um, so yeah, let's uh, hope there's some new trailers or teaser trailers coming soon.
So the other piece of news that's just dropped as well that I've just seen online is the two new judges for the Great British Bake Off. Now, I love the Bake Off. Literally cannot get over how much I love the Bake Off. I watch every season and I love it. And I was so sad when Channel 4 took it over because BBC made it so British and lovely and nice. And then that hint of comedy as well, which I loved. So the new um, the new judges are Sandy Toxvig and Noel Fielding. Now I don't know the lady, so I don't really know. I think I've seen her in something, but it didn't. I think she was quite. Um, I don't know. I, I think I've seen her in something, and I don't think the style of comedy was my favourite. Noel Fielding, I know very well, and I think he's a funny person. I like him, but my problem is, is he's not what the type of comedy I want for the British Bake Off. He's a bit more slapstick and this is supposed to be kind of puns and I love Mel and Sue, I so thought I'm sad. But I'm curious to see what it's like, but I don't have high hopes now. I didn't think I did anyway. But now I've seen the host, I'm kind of like, what is this? <laughs> so who knows, I'm gonna give it a chance, I'm gonna watch it, there's nothing gonna stop me watching it. But I just hope it's good. I hope so.